Hi all, welcome back to another Tech Connect. Today, we are taking a look at an exciting product from OrCam. They make some really cool OCR devices. We're looking at the OrCam stand that's specific for their OrCam Read and OrCam Learn device. If you're interested in what the OrCam Read can do and what their OrCam My Eye Pro can do, take a look at some of our past videos where we break down button layout and get uh, more specific on some of the tasks you can complete with that device. I'm gonna turn it over to Luke and we're gonna take a look at the stand specifically. He's got his toolbox out, ready to put it together for us. Chloe, let's see if we can stand it. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> We are ready to read with the OrCam Read. Yes, that is indeed what it does. For those who are uh, not aware, this is a OCR device. And the OrCam Read is designed to be held in the hand. And so normally we would be holding it in the hand and then pointing it at our reading materials. But the stand allows us to be hands-free. And this is uh, pretty beneficial, especially for people who are blind, because that means that they don't have to worry about aligning the camera when it's in their hand with the document. All they have to do is put the camera into the stand and then you can feel as you push your document up against the stand where the corners of the paper need to be and then you can just hit the button and you will know that you can read an entire eight and a half by 11. Now actually you can probably read more than that because there is a clasp on the stand about uh, it's at the top of the metal pole and if we undo that it will allow us to extend the length of the metal pole and raise the camera higher so you could actually get more than eight and a half by 11 in one picture which is kind of handy but if you have the uh, the pole lowered all the way that will be its default position and that will get you an entire eight and a half by 11 uh, for your reading so you'll know you can capture an entire page. So what do we do once we have the camera set up? Well we have to take our page we're gonna push the edges of the page up against the back of the stand. We will pe uh, press the circular button on the front of the OrCam read because that's the picture button and it will take a picture and start to read. So let's see what we get here. I'm gonna hit the circular button. The text seems upside down to read it. Rotate the page and try again. And that's what we get. The text is upside down or seems upside down. Now, the reason for this is that the camera, the way that the camera is positioned in the stand, it thinks it's upside down compared to the paper. So this is a strange little thing with the design of this stand. What we actually need to do is take our paper and turn the page upside down. So we'll be pushing the bottom of the paper up against the back of the stand. And now if we press our button to take a picture, Picture, then it should be able to read the page to us. So let's just give it a try here. Vision Forwards Technology and Education Center features innovative technology and real life work. And I'll just stop it by hitting the button there. As we can see, very fast and very accurate as you would expect from OrCam. So it's super simple to uh, use a stand and it does a really nice job of just allowing us to be hands-free and giving us a little bit more control over knowing exactly what we are gonna capture when we take a picture. Now with the OrCam read, we do have the box mode and the pointer mode that just changes how the laser uh, comes out of the device. We would probably want to be in the box mode for this um, because that will then make sure that we capture the entire page with the laser pointer mode which gives us an arrow uh, laser that is a more specific kind of reading method and we might not capture the entire page if we're using that mode you can check out those in our other orcam read video for a little bit more information on how those work if we were doing this with our handheld our traditional method if you will we would hold the orcam read with the buttons on top and uh, we would feel for the circular button toward the front of the device we would hold our paper in front of us hold down that circular button, the laser would come out of the OrCam. We would point the laser where we want to read and then let go. It would take a picture and start to read. Technology and Education Center features innovative technology and... And I'll go ahead and stop it there. Now that's all well and fine, but you do need to be able to see the laser pointer if you are doing that because you really need to align the laser with the page. And obviously, depending on your level of vision, that might not be possible. So that's why this stand really does make the OrCam Read a suitable device for people who are blind as well as people who are low, uh, low vision and other print disabilities. And the nice thing is that the OrCam Read is significantly cheaper than the OrCam 
Cam My Eye, which is the device that goes on the side of the glasses. And so uh, it's really nice now because you can buy the cheaper device if you are blind and still be able to use it. Um, now a couple of things about the stand which I was not too impressed with. Number one, we received a, the speaker. I don't have it plugged in. Why? It's because it doesn't work. Now, it could be user error, but it seems pretty straightforward. You turn on the speaker, yes. you plug it into the jack, yes. and then the sound should come out the speaker. And we can hear hissing from the speaker, so we yeah. can tell it's on, yeah. but it does not appear the uh, Orcam voice still comes out of the main speaker. Yes. When plugging in a pair of headphones, yeah. Works fine. that does work yeah. fine. Yeah. So, uh, like you said, I don't want to blame it on Orcam because yeah. there is a good chance. Uh, Could be used that yeah. So yeah. throw it down in the comments. If your speaker is working, let us know what we're doing wrong so we can fix it. The other thing with the stand is it does seem to be slightly over-engineered. Um, there's a lot of points of movement and it can be hard to tighten it down sufficiently well to give you a stable base. Um, so that's one other thing. Um, I think Orca might be redesigning the stand at some point. We may have heard on the grapevine. So yeah. we will see. But uh, for the moment, anyway, it does the job uh, sufficiently well. So if you do need a stand for your Orcam read, well, you can go ahead and get one and of course you can get one from us at Vision Forward. The retail is $1.99. So the first thing we need to do once we receive our Orcam Read stand is to take it out of the box and assemble it. Now, I already went through this process and I'm very happy to say I was successful. However, Corey, you have never done this before. I have not done it, so I thought it would be fun to test out A, mm. my ability to put it together as yeah. somebody who's blind, mm -hmm. and B, your ability as a sighted person to yeah. give me instructions <laughs> okay. and how to do it. <laughs> I like so um, I have my tool belt. Yes. Uh, you told me to bring a circular saw. Indeed. A level. Yes. And needle nose pliers. Did you bring the pneumatic drill? I did. Now, okay, is this, did we need it for this or was that just some. A no, it's just thing, afterwards. I thought we could project. drill some stuff up. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> this is a toolless. It is. Assembly. Yeah, so the assembly is toolless. Everything you need is right in the box and everything just screws together pretty straightforward. Cool. I think most people will be able to do it. There are instructions included, but of course, we are modern men and we do not need instructions for our assemblies. Or at least I hope we don't. Let's find out. <laughs> All right, Corey. So we are going to start with the stand here. Okay. Now, the stand is the only metallic part in the box. Okay. And uh, well, actually, I'm going to have you fold it out. At the moment, it is folded together, and we need to fold out the sides so it forms okay. uh, basically a square, but actually the sides are splayed out more than 90 degrees. Yeah. So we've got, so from what I'm seeing, I've got it's, uh, I got a straight. Yep, bar going bar. Uh, far yes. away from me, and mm -hmm. then two legs coming out towards me. Precisely. So it's like Pac-Man coming to eat me. Uh, sure, <laughs> that's a great <laughs> reference. Now, Corey, if you would care to feel the straight bar uh, mm -hmm. across from you, and in the middle there is a hole. I do see a screw hole in the middle. Excellent. Yes. So the next step is we need to screw the circular shaft onto that hole. Okay. We have a uh, screw part. It has ridged edges on the outside of the screw part, and that's going to go underneath the hole. So I'm, oops, so I'm going to pass you at the screw part. Okay. Okay, oh, so go. that goes under, uh, lift the stand yeah, with the up, screw coming through, through the hole. Good. And then I have the circular shaft here, and the bottom part there has a uh, kind of a larger piece of plastic on the bottom I of see it, that. and a hole in the bottom. Yeah, so we've well. got a little piece, it's a little uh, tightener, yes, hand tightener, tightener yep. and then obviously there's also there's a, a hole, hole the at the bottom. Yeah, so we need to screw where those the top together. does not have a hole. Exactly. So, right, let's so we're going to put it there, I'm going to screw it in. Now I might need to do. Lift. I'm not holding it from the bottom, but we're going to see if it'll do it. Screw. I'm going to hold it that way. That'll work. Okay. That looks like it's getting nice and tight there. Oh, there we go. Woo. All right. Tight. All right. Step the next one. Stage. Complete. Yeah. So you did a good job there. Thank now the you. next stage is we need to put the receptacle for the Orcam read itself okay. together, and then we can attach it to the circular shaft. There are two parts to the receptacle. There is a hinge part which has a circular base. I'll go ahead and pass it to you so you can I check see that the out. circular base. Yes. And then if you feel uh, above the circular base, then there's a couple of kind of holes there where we're going to uh, put the actual holder for the Orcam read yeah, into and, there, and, and then we need to screw it in. Okay. And when feeling it. Uh, I see one side has a convex knobby guy sticking out. Yes. The other side has a concave you know, male, yes. female. So the convex do. is where the screw is going to go into. So the okay. screw part I'm going to pass you is going to go uh, in on the other side where the hole is. Okay? Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to pass you the receptacle for the Orcam read. Got it. And let's see if you can get that in there. So there's a bit that sticks out that has the holes in it that needs to go into that uh, hinged uh, joint there. Let's see if so we can stick that in together. Like that? Yeah, okay. 
Okay, you feel like you got that going on? I think we're good, yeah, so All I right. took, yeah, yeah, okay, got it. And now the next part now is it. I have the screw. The screw itself has a uh, kind of square end and it has a metal screw on uh, one side of it. Okay. I want you to take that and see if you can figure that out and get it into the hole, screw it tight. We just got it now. Here's where the fun part is. You've got. Oop! I got it. You got to line. So up you got to line up the holes. Yes. Yep. So I fed it through uh, the first half, but then had to get it through the actual receptacle that I put through the little hinge, and we are now tight and done. I am very happy and proud, Corey. Yeah, you You're doing be. a wonderful job. We have one final step. Can you figure out what the final step is? Well, now I need to connect this receptacle Indeed. to this Indeed here. Indeed, you do. And I feel uh, this is very similar to like a camera um, tripod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the bottom, the opposite end of the receptacle, I feel a round, a round disc. In the center of that bottom center is a hole. Yep. If I reach up onto the actual stand, yep. and I now feel a screw sticking out, Indeed. so I'm going to screw that guy on top of here. That's it. Just make sure the threads are all lined up. That's always the, that's always the tricky oh, part. Yeah, how to... Come here, buddy. So we're so close, just got to get them to catch. There we go. Hey. Now we're tightening yeah. it. And... We've done it! Okay, now the final step is we do need to make sure that the camera, when it's in the receptacle, will be Faces. facing down into the stand. <clears throat> yep. So, feeling the receptacle, I feel yep. that there are two ends, uh, two, one where I can slide in the camera, yep. and then the other end has a little piece that's obviously a stopper yes. for, the cam uh, for the read device so that it doesn't slide all the way through. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm also feeling, though, that it's kind of weeble wobble yeah, in the stand of, itself. Uh, give there, yeah. So, I want to go in and there, I can feel here that there are some little area, uh, little hand tighteners. Yep. So, I can kind of tighten that up a little bit just so that it's not so weeble wobbly. That looks good. Last step. Corey. Here's the camera. All right, Good I have luck. the camera in my hands. I can feel uh, on one end of the OrCam read, I can feel the little glass, uh, you know, what you call it? The camera? Camera lens? window. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have buttons facing me, Yes. lens facing down, yes. slide it into the top. Colby, we do have one final set. Boom. The speaker. Yes. Yes. Speaker. Uh, so speaker, the... circular, large uh, speaker with a 3.5 male connector on the end. Yes, and that comes with the stand, it does. not the OrCam read or learn, right. correct? That's exactly right. All right, yep. cool. So at the top of the OrCam uh, device, towards the back top, I do have a 3.5 jack. Just going to plug this guy in, push it in, and we have now finished. Oh, you know what? Mm. We got the power button of the speaker mm. is on the back oh, center of it, so we'll turn nice. that on. Look at that, we've done it, and we have 100% put together a device. Round of applause, Good please, work. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> OrCam has always been a great OCR device, very fast, very accurate. Throw down in the comments what's your favorite OCR device. We're always curious what our viewers are using to read printed documents. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, share it out. Make sure you go and check out our online assistive technology resource, techconnect.vision-forward.org. We have free professional webinars that have ACVREP credit on demand. Check it out, we appreciate it. If you'd like to contact us, there's three different ways. Give us a call at 414-615-0103. Shoot us an email, techconnect at vision-forward.org or check us out online, vision-forward.org. Thanks for joining us on this video. Stay tuned.